Welcome back again, rum lovers. Jamie here from Ready Set Rum. This is a hoodie I just made with the Ready Set Rum logo on the front and on the back. Um, so it's been a busy life, been hectic. My daughter is turning one. I can't keep up with the videos. Um, I have been making though the um, rum store review videos. Go check that out. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please donate links below for PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, all that stuff. Um, think about making a Patreon, been thinking about it for a while, but I definitely want to give you really great content before even I, I even like you know do that kind of stuff. There's some stuff I want to do. You guys let me know, let me know down in the comments below what exactly is the stuff that you guys are yearning for. Let me see if I could bring it to you, right? I got the premium rums. I got like some Appleton Hearts, three hundred bottle, three hundred dollar bottles back there. I have one of the limited edition rums from Rare Nephew, the seventy proof Rare Nephew. Got one so far. Probably gonna get at least one or two more. There's fourteen for each parish in Jamaica. So I'm trying to get those. But why I'm making this video is that I went to work and I received a ton of stuff right i ship most of my packages to to my work address so it's if it's signed and if it's like signed for and whatever it always gets delivered and i have quite a collection i walked into a couple weeks ago and i got a lot of ton of stuff right so let's start off in that somehow i had entered so i never really win anything but i entered into one of those like like you know message tag someone things um online and i went to the office and i got this box all right and in this box you know whatever the invoice is from uh jennifer thank you jennifer for sending this to me all right apparently i won something and i forgot that i won it so so this is what I won. The real McCoy 5. So they had some sort of thing online where you could win some stuff. Um, real McCoy, I tried it 12 before. Haven't tried anything from them in a while. Um, this is made at Foursquare Distillery. Um, I think it's actually an American brand from Foursquare, right? Bailey Breyer, he made this. So it's five year age, blend of spring water, genu genuinely select cast age heavy char in american oak right heavy char even at five years it's probably equivalent to a bourbon um i think they sell in stores for about 27 bucks 30 bucks something like that um definitely gonna make some cocktails with this gonna do a video with this soon thank you for real mccoy for providing this bottle to me right so that's bottle number one that i got this was like Probably like two weeks ago, I just I went into the office and like a lot of things came that one time in the office. All right, so next up is this package right here. So this came together. Um, Coconut Cartel uh, made a video of them really early in my you know review career. Uh, I became you know quick acquaintances with Mike, one of the founders of Coconut Cartel, uh, and I am gonna have a tasting at my office. So I call up Mike and say, Hey, Mike. He provide me some bottles, you know. Obviously, the guys at the office really love your rum, so if you get me some bottles, that would be great. So, Mike provide me this box. Let me get a knife real quick to open it up, show you what it looks like. My this knife is thanks to um, you call those guys, Ron Colon El Salvador. So this is their pairing knife. It's cutting some fruit. It's a bit stained. Um, but yeah, really nice knife from um, Ron Calon El Salvador. Uh, I'm just, I guess I'm just promoting stuff from, from everyone who gave me stuff, you know, recently. All right. So, oh man, very bad with a knife. Here's what I'm showing you. But, so, we have the new batch number eight from Coconut Cartel. As you know, it's a pretty young company. And they are um, basically like just getting better and better after each batch. I have a couple batches still in my back in my, my bar back there. So I'm definitely, I think one day I'm just going to do like a live 
where I just tears through. I think I have about four to eight. I always keep a little bit of one, or I try to keep one, um, or I buy one or whatever. I was just, you know, I support the brand, so definitely, I have a couple of them still there. I'm gonna see which which um, batches I have. I'll taste it, tell you which one is the best, right? But this is the new latest batch. This is batch number eight of the Coconut Cartel. And he provided this because one of the new, one of my, the company I work for, just opened a new office, gonna do a tasting with them. Um, you know, cause honestly everyone loves it so far. Or I might even just, I thought of just sending a bottle to each office cause we have a couple offices. Or if I have the time, I'm gonna go to Orlando with this and do a tasting with them, explain to them some of the tasting notes and stuff like that. All right, and he gave me a little gift. Called Mancho Cigars. So there's people also in my office like, man, you gotta give us some of these. And I don't know, I got 20 cigars in here. It says 20 cigars hand built in Honduras, right? So these are Honduran cigars with some Guatemalan rum. They're gonna do a cigar day soon at the office. So I don't know. This might go to some of my fans. It might go just to people in the office. You know, as I've been telling you guys, I want to do giveaways and stuff like that. So maybe this goes to a giveaway where I give away the whole box. Or my giveaway, you know, to some of my fans just, you know, give away a couple of cigars. I know you got some cigar smokers out there if you're drip sipping on the good stuff, right? So, definitely thanks, Mike, for providing me the cigars and providing me coconut cartel rums. He also said that soon there may be some... All right, maybe that's secret. So I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna spill the beans on that one. All right, so We got the coconut cartel rum. We got the Comancho cigars. We got uh, Real McCoy 5, right? And I'm sipping on some coconut cartel right now in my Eldorado rum glass So if you find some of those old Eldorado um, sets um you're gonna get some glasses with them based on where you get them from so i have a liquor store that i visited recently and they have the sets at that store so definitely um like and subscribe because that video is coming out soon so don't miss out i can tell you where in south florida you can get two of these lr glasses and honestly they're thick compared to glass i've actually purchased these free ones are the thickest i have they're very heavy very weighty very great quality Eldorado really did a good job on these glasses right here oh. all right enough sipping let me get to this one so this company is called shaker and spoon i do not recall talking to anyone at shaker and spoon i go to the office like oh yeah we put this thing in the, in the fridge for you I'm like, in the fridge say yeah it said refrigerated it came refrigerated so you just put in the fridge for you i'm like all right cool thanks you know fragile glass bottle inside look at the packaging look at the packaging it says cheers prep enjoy share shaker and spoon they're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube. So, honestly, just open the, bo the box. Just open the box. Um, I don't even know. I didn't even know all this was in here, right? All right. So, it says, box contains ingredients. The cocktail experience, shakuri bitters, water, distilled alcohol, shakuri root orange peel, brown sugar, shakuri pods, shazadran berries, gillian root, sea salt, ground espresso, they got banana chips, sesame seed oil, banana chips, they give the ingredients, banana chip, coconut oil, refined sh um, cane sugar, natural banana flavor, sesame seed oil, and coffee beans, organic fair tree, Colombian coffee beans. Okay, so full cocktail in here. Again, I didn't even open this before, so I didn't even know I had all this stuff, right? So apparently they, they give you some stuff to kind of taste that is, you should get some notes from there. Uh, maybe, because that's how like Appleton and those guys do it. They give you stuff that you get some tasting notes. So 
So that's what I'm thinking like the banana chips, sesame oil, and coffee beans are. But maybe it's just garnishes for the cocktails. Uh, yeah, so it says sun's out, rum's out. Oh man, that's a great slogan there. Sun's out, rum's out. All right, guys. Uh, let me open up this this booklet. I think I'm gonna have to do a separate video just to run through what's in this box. All right, the box contents here, and uh, it says, "Wake me up before go, you go." All right, and then there's glossary, the barware, there's gentleman's pirates, uh, and then there's lost. So it looks like there's cocktails in here. There's a list of cocktails that they give us. They give you the technique. They give you the bar where you need the glassware, the technique, and the terminology. All right. And there's a couple of these drinks. They tell you what the glassware you're in. So, yeah. All right. So that looks kind of like my glass right there. So, what's that drink? Gentleman's Pirate. A rocks glass all right all right they got rocks glass they got Collins glass huh all right so that's that let me see sort through some more all right we got the different bitters and stuff in here the sesame seed oil okay wow refrigerator after opening honey fig syrup all right pretty thick so I just took this up the fridge I had it in the fridge you know ensuring that whatever they sent me didn't go bad this is the espresso salt it it's very dark it looks like they have um, I think like you get like rock you get the salt and you you let the you pour the coffee on it the espresso on it and then you dry it back so you dry the coffee into the into the salt itself I actually had some rum salt recently this is pretty cool wow there's a big bottle in here I don't know how I could even like package this back even do the video afterwards so I'm probably gonna have to take pictures of this so because I'm definitely not gonna put this back in my fridge We've got some tonic water all right Ooh. all right put this in front what else am I missing got some tonic water there I've got something else here we got some Q ginger beer. So this brand, Q Tropical Ginger Beer, right? I've been seeing, I saw them in um, Tales of Cocktails that they had, right? They got a magazine in here, Sun's Up, and it's called Imbibe. So there's Imbibe Magazine. All right, so it's got a good package here. This is, again, Shaker and Spoon, not sponsored by Shaker and Spoon. They just sent me this stuff and I'm just opening it up showing you what, what I got. Um, you know, when I get sponsorship, I'll let you know. What else you got in here? Cold brew coffee. So they're definitely giving you ingredients here to make a cocktail and the packaging is brilliant, right? They got some shredded cardboard or something in here. Really nice box inside here. Let's see what else you get. So. I'm gonna look into it and see what this company really does. I am assuming they send you probably ship you some stuff. Refrigerate after opening batch O2 bottle by shake and spoon filtered water, light brown sugar, banana, demerara syrup, syric acid. Alright, so that's there. So again, I think all this stuff. I don't know if you've been getting all this. Uh, we got another tropical ginger beer. All right, we got a so we got another syrup here, rich coconut syrup. So apparently, I just recognized there's a little logo right there that they say what the syrup is. That's rich coconut syrup. This is the honey fig, and then I think this one was banana syrup. So now we have rich coconut syrup. Alright, they gotta they gave me so much stuff in. Okay, so that's it. That's it guys. Alright, so I got this box, shaker and spoon, not a sponsored video, nothing here was like I got paid for, but in this box here they gave me the cold brew coffee, 
they gave me the two cans of tropical ginger beer they gave me the syrups right what was this syrup this was sesame oil and some kind of cocktail what's it cocktail experiment all right uh we got the rich coconut syrup we got the tonic water we got the the espresso salt the coffee bean and the magazine right and we also got the menus or the, or the the cocktail recipes right they told us what's in the box they even count the, the, the coffee beans 12 coffee beans just in case anyone decided to steal the coffee beans they told us all right so the little bottle here is a cocktail experiment shakuchi bitters all right they got it serves the total box content serves 12 cocktails for per recipe I can make four drinks per the recipe that gives me here and we got the wake me up the luster the gentleman pirate guys so these are all the things I collected recently thank you to everyone that provided me with the contents coconut cartel for the rums which the members at my company would definitely enjoy right this is gonna be a, a key special. In fact, one of the directors today said we're gonna have a cigar night. So maybe this is gonna be for the cigar night. All Keith members gonna get this courtesy coconut cartel. I gotta put some coconut cartel brand stuff at the office, man. Coconut cartel, the real McCoy, um, what's these guys called? Shaker and Spoon. Thank you all. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The new thing I'm doing now, I'm going to different liquor stores across South Florida. And telling you what's in there i also went to one in new york i'm going to canada soon so guys all my friends in canada i'm going to alberta let me know where i should go let me know what liquor stores are out there let me know like where's the best spot that has the biggest uh wide widest arrangement of rums so i can do a quick video while i'm up there all right guys ready set rum taking you around the world hmm. all these rums and cigars at a time Check me out in the next one, right? Ready, set, wrong. Ciao.